do 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 Dang, that was the quickest it ever popped up. Yeah, you know it's me. <laughs> oh man. Boy. <laughs> boy, bro, boy. Just don't know. I mean, just that's how know. it is. The world is going upside down. Just I just saw know. it. Earth is spinning faster now. And the yeah, days I see are a lot of shorter. Elon Musk was on a podcast where he said that aliens are made up and people are just saying that just so we believe that we're not alone in this world, which makes people think that we're not as special as we should think that we are as human beings, of course, as living organisms. But hey, that's a story for another day. It gets really like interesting. Yeah, it really makes you think like, why would why would they fake lie about aliens? But anyway, anything is possible, <laughs> to say the least. I so, guess. I mean, I mean, it's an interesting, interesting time we live in. Everything you thought was the truth. It turns out it's not. <laughs> okay. Do you want to just jump right into it? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we can, and then we can take our time as people trickle in. Um, I'm pretty right. sure I just made a word up. We are trying to sound sophisticated, but hey. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, it's Daisha D. And it's Jay Stane. And welcome back to In Retrospect Podcast, where we look beyond the surface to find understanding. Bring you laughs knowledge and culture so sit back relax and join the convo welcome to those of you who will watch this for the very first time go stop what you're doing go to the link in our bio and subscribe to our youtube channel where you can find all of our episodes all of our lives or if you're more of an audio person you can go to spotify apple Podcasts, or anywhere that streams podcasts and if you are someone who always joins us thank you and welcome back. Word. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Seriously, go check out the uh, episodes we got on YouTube. You will laugh. You will enjoy yourself. You will walk away with some knowledge. Everything we put out, we make sure it's either a current event or it's something of substance, something that you can take away from it. Even in our current events, when we discuss current events, you can hear something of substance that you can take into your everyday life or something you may be able to relate to. It's there. Believe me. Yes. Um, so like I've been saying, our lives are a little different than our episodes because with our lives, we're going to dive more into what's going on in the metaverse and just what's going on in the country, to be honest, um, versus just having one isolated topic. Yeah. One of the biggest things that came out in the news is that WNBA star Brittany Griner uh, was sentenced to nine years and 16K in U.S. dollars. It was like a million in Russian dollars um, for having less than a gram of weed. And people are on the fence. Some people are outraged. Other people could care less. <laughs> where where do you stand at on that? I mean, me personally, I, I don't partake in it, but I don't see anything wrong with it, but at the end of the day, the law is the law. I mean, I will say this. Sentencing, this is what I'll say. The whole situation with her getting nine years was wild to me, first and foremost, because it's just like, okay, people will say enforce the law, right? But the law is not being enforced. What's the best word to say? Consistently across the board mm -hmm. when it comes to each individual case. So when somebody slaps someone with nine years and you'd be like, yeah, she deserved it. And then you look at every, like, you look at each situation on a case-to-case -case basis or somebody that wasn't the same in situation as her, you'd be like, what? They got a couple months or 12 months or six months or whatever, a fine and was on their way, and they sent it shorty to nine years? Nine years? And it's crazy yeah. because people will say, oh, it's just a part of the process and this, that, and the third. It sound good. But they still sent it shorty to nine years. That's crazy. So think about it. If everything goes wrong, she's serving time. <laughs> Hard time. That's crazy. <laughs> that is wild to me. I, and they're trying, apparently they're trying to do like a swap for like somebody we got. That's yeah. like, yeah. What? <laughs> they're trying to do a, a a prisoner swap for somebody Russian who's in the U.S. currently. I don't know who the person or people really? are, but That's I crazy. went to look up um, 
the actual like what is the the normal sentencing for a camp well for weed in Russia. Yeah. yeah. And it said that possession of up to six grams or mm-hmm. two grams of hashes is punishable by a fine or detention of fifteen days. So I'm lost as to how fifteen days turned into nine years. And not only that, she had less than a gram. Like, I, I keep saying that she had less than a gram. I understand that the law is the law, but for somebody who doesn't have a record, I don't believe she has a record. Um, one would think that maybe at the most, she'd be fined. Maybe at the most. And maybe some probation or whatever that may look like. But nine years just seems overly excessive. I think, I think that I think that too, and everything I said, as well as what you just said, compounded with the old cliche being in the you know wrong place wrong time situation because while she was over there it was all that you know stuff going on overseas with a bunch of that confusion over there and she just became in my opinion like a prisoner of war that's just what it was like people don't want to talk about it it's kind of interesting because the reason i say that because they're trying to use her as like a token of some sort to basically you know, make demands, ask for certain things and get into like the diplomatic things of like the political side of making ch- it's weird, but it's it's really unfortunate because it's just like also I wouldn't say just in Russia. Russia it's just like the law in general, like I said earlier, like when it comes to trying to regulate the sentencing when it comes to that. One second, please. Okay. <clears throat> when it comes to the like the sentencing with that or whatnot. You, you have a lot of like issues. I don't know why. Go ahead, Dish. You got it. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up is the fact that she wouldn't have been in Russia had she been making the money that she should be making playing basketball in her own country. Um, why is it that may why is it that NBA players are making millions of dollars a year while she's making probably like 200k or less per year. And they while, dunk. Because the they dunk. Is, they dunk a lot. <laughs> but the thing is, to us, that's a lot of money. But at the same time, she has to have all of these different people to be a part of her team. And probably she's left with a small percentage of that money. So she wouldn't have been in Russia to begin with had she been making what she should be making over here. Um, also, I mean, what? I mean, I agree with that, but at the same time, it's just that, like, like we said, in, you know, previous episodes, which everyone should go take a look at, that things are changing. But as far as like the pay, like discrepancy, when it comes into like all facets of whatever, you know, whatever work you're in, uh, I think the main difference is that the WNBA hasn't getting a lot of exposure, nearly as much exposure as the NBA over the years. And on top of that, you'll have folks that'll say that the NBA game is more exciting because there's more dunks, there's more this, there's more that. But I, me personally, I just think it's an exposure thing. The more exposure they'll get, the more money they'll bring in, and then the more money people will get paid. But as of right now, that's the real, like, issue. But people are get, it's getting better, but it's not going to be an overnight thing. Probably need to see some more dunks in the WNBA to help it, but it's not going to happen all the time. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just but saying. also, I guess sentencing. I still watch the game, though. I like WNBA. No. Sentencing in general, though, is something that they can do better with because if somebody is doing something that is is not harmful to someone else, why is it that they're taking up that amount of space and time in a prison, really? They got to set the example for certain people. It's unfortunate, <laughs> though. I mean, no, no, I'm serious. Like, when you get a big name, they're going to set that example. Like, you somebody with notoriety and you think you're about to pay – a bunch of money to high uh, to a lawyer and be like, oh, I'm about to get off. I'm about to get like minimum or whatever. That's not always the case. Now, granted, you do have a lot a lot of cases where those folks will pay, put that money down, pay whoever needs to be paid, and they ain't gonna you know get a slap on the wrist. But there are those times where they are treated like everybody else, and they get hit. They get hit with that time. It's crazy. But in this case, in my mind, it does not make. It just doesn't. Doesn't, no. It doesn't make sense. Well, <laughs> her, her legal team are looking to appeal it. So, you know, well wishes to Brittany Griner. I really hope that they work that out and she's able to come home. And if she yeah. does receive any type of punishment, hopefully it's not as uh, excessive as it currently is. 
Most Moving good. on into more, more ratchet news. Um, a popular rapper by the name of Blueface recently got into a physical altercation with his girlfriend, Krishan, I think is how to say her name. Um, they got into a physical altercation somewhere in Hollywood. It's on TMZ. It's everywhere. You can see they both hit each other. He snatched the chain off of her. And then the following morning, he went live on Instagram and um, showed his bruised eye, talked about how he went through her cell phone and saw that she was messing with other dudes, apparently, and said that y'all think y'all know her, but she's really a whore. Um, what's crazy, what, right, what's crazy <laughs> is I don't even know either of their music, and I don't know much about their relationship. You but know when I would, man, don't do that. Bust down, Diana. You know, you know, you know, Blueface. You but I don't song. know anything other than that. But the thing is, Come when on. I would see Blueface right. and Krishan <laughs> pop up on TikTok, Facebook, whatever, people would be like, "Oh, if she don't want me like that, I don't want him." And in my mind, I used to say, "Like that's not love. That's obsession, and that's going to end really badly." And then, boom, that's what I saw in my timeline: them two scrapping in the middle of the street somewhere. Yeah, that's that's what happened. You are right. That is obsession. But those two just can't stay away from each other. Apparently, you know he puts a big to old front. Man, yeah, and she gonna she gonna spend the block. She'll be right back. She gonna take the hundred k, and she gonna be right back. It's like it's like it's like her him giving her a gift, but it's cash. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Cause it's crazy. Cause apparently, you know, a while back he she allegedly stole his car and was driving around in another state. All right, cool. That's cool. And then allegedly put a restraining out order out on her. Okay, that's cool. But then all of a sudden she pops up with him and that's like nothing ever happened. I don't know, man. It's just extremely toxic. It's not healthy. It's not going to end well. Me personally, I don't think it's going to end well. It's just like... It already isn't ending well. <laughs> they both got what? bruises. I don't think it's ending until somebody like literally, like I said... Goes to jail or is in the grave. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's definitely leading towards that. It's crazy. She did an interview, and I don't know who it was with, but it recently came out, and I didn't watch it. I just saw a quick clip. And in the interview, she's discussing her childhood and how she's like one of 10 or 11 kids and how she witnessed, trigger warning, anybody watching, how she witnessed her dad physically, mentally, emotionally abuse her mom, taking her out into the woods, beating her in front of them. And so even hearing that snippet of that interview, it all makes sense as to why she thinks that what she, the dynamic that she has going on with Blueface is love. Like if he ain't putting his hands on me, if he's not cussing me out, calling me out my name, then he don't really like me like that. And it's, that's pretty sad. I don't know if he really per se put his hands on her. Now, it's I will on say video. That, but the the vid well, the video, video. I see, well, I didn't see him like lean back and go crazy on Sorty. Now I'm talking about you like she came up on him type stuff and eh, yeah, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Like she ran up on Buddy. That's all I'm saying. I'm no, I don't condone any of that because that whole situation was crazy. But it's just like it's just a lose lose situation all around. <laughs> really, really. And for all the people that are watching, you can put your thoughts in. We'll bring it up. We can talk about it. How you feel about the the blue face situation with his old lady. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, man. The crazy part about it is, in his video, he was like, um, he said, y'all already know that I'm a hoe. Like, y'all already know I'm a dog, and that's fine. But y'all always praising her for being down for me because she got me tat on her neck. She got me on her tooth, blah, 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 but she's really not. The thing that always just blows my mind is the people who are, like, habitual cheaters... They find out that you just simply breathe in another man or woman's direction. And they lose their marbles. And that's what be blowing my mind. So you know that what you're doing is not okay and is not healthy. But for some reason, you just can't seem to help yourself out. I, I, I don't get it. Well, I will say this because a fellow I went to uh, high school with posted something on his story the other day. And it was talking about, uh, like, cheaters, for instance, like, People will be with somebody, and it's interesting. He was like, you got to understand, like, if you about to go, say, for instance, pay the whole rent, right? You're going to pay all the rent, and all of a sudden, your feelings start to change, 
Because in my in my opinion, I'm pretty sure Shorty ain't paying nothing. And he's thinking he's entitled to cheat, right? Because he's paying for everything, allegedly. I'm pretty sure he is. But anyway, but you paying yeah. for everything, so you think you can do whatever. What's the point of being with her? Because it's not it's as if she's not even there, really. <laughs> she just, she just got, she's there, but she's not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do whatever. So what's the point of even being there? Like, if you about to... <laughs> pay for everything and then do whatever what's the point of even being with somebody i have no idea but <laughs> speaking of cheaters neil <laughs> well 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 neil was <laughs> blasted on instagram earlier this week by his wife of eight years um she pretty much said that for the entirety of the eight years that they've been together he has cheated throughout the in- entire relationship unprotected with sex workers and that he has gotten a one of those people pregnant. Um, she also said that he has brought diseases home. Oh. Neil then liked her post and then went to Twitter and he didn't even type his own post, first of all, because he left the quotation marks on whatever his PR team told him to say, clearly. And he tweeted out, guys, please just respect this, respect us and, you know, give us some privacy during this time. They have three kids together and he has two kids from a previous engagement. Um, y'all out here bad. Y'all down bad right now. Who's y'all? <laughs> men. Who's y'all? <laughs> y'all no men. You need to stop that. No right man. <laughs> hey, no, no man. No man. Stop that. in the industry. Are yeah, down you brought diseases right to it. Yeah, he wilding. Oh. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you corrected men in the industry because that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy wild. <laughs> now, I'm surprised he's still breathing, really. Because <laughs> somebody found out you brought a disease to this. Man, please. That is not even realistic. Like, it's just, it's, it's crazy to me, though, because you get that ain't nothing but love, did the fact that she even stuck around that long. Like, that's wild. Like, is that's it crazy. love? I don't know. Or is it familiarity? Is it familiarity? Yeah. You sure it's not love? He brought diseases to her. Hell no. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, listen, it's too many things running rampant that I, I, I just, I can't. I, I don't know, man. I just know that the, the real, like, it's just so wild because not only did he bring diseases, he brought a whole child outside of the marriage into it. And it's just, oh, man, look, my boy here. Hey, boy, I was just talking about your brew. <laughs> or is it about money? It could be that too, but that's also familiarity because you get accustomed to a certain lifestyle and that's hard to give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, or is it about money? Yeah, it's definitely that. You know, once that money gets you get used to that lifestyle, right? And then you having to give up that lifestyle, it's hard. It's but hard that's for not, a lot of people in general. But that's not worth your health, though. It's I mean, one some thing people, to but cheat. some people will, some people argue argue with you about that though. I'd rather I'd rather be people be I'd rather be somewhere tropical I'd rather be an X amount of car with that's expensive as all get out or I'd like my my space my house or my apartment whatever condo I'm in to be lavish or whatever and I'm not healthy or I'm not well mentally but shoot at least I'm here so you'd what rather you be on that? an i you'd so I would say you'd rather be on an <laughs> island with chlamydia that your husband gave to you because he slept with somebody else you'd rather be in Puerto Rico while your husband go hold the hand of another woman as she gives birth to their child. That that's what I would ask. <laughs> I, I I know I it's blowing your mind right now. Imagine. But these are some wicked times we live in. <laughs> I'm like, hey, these are some wicked times we live in. And a lot of people go to toe to toe with you or argue with you about that that listen. And it's not the first time that he's cheated. It's not. Because oh, he, because yes, yes, remember, he cheated. That. He cheated before. They broke up for a little bit, but then they just renewed their vows, like the end of last year, I want to say. Um, yes, he said it was strong and et cetera, et cetera, going well. And yes, he relapsed. <laughs> he relapsed. Oh, you ain't got to laugh that hard now. Did it tickle you that much? I said relapse. I mean, because <laughs> obviously it was going to. Obviously, he was trying to get help. They were going to counseling or something. She said, "I said they were going to counseling." She, at least I thought they was. I guess not. Right, she, yeah, no they counseling did. going oh, they, on. And if they was, <laughs> it didn't work too well. Obviously. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Is is once a cheater, always a cheater? That's the biggest question. Because we just talked about Blueface. We talked about Neo. 
Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yeah, it, that's a. I'm asking. I'm not saying that's a fact. I'm asking. Is once a cheater, always a cheater? No. Why do you say so. that? Because people grow eventually, or should. Some people don't. Most people don't. Some people do. So I mean, you can't put that you know that label on, on everybody. Because some people at some at some points, everybody's life, they look up. I wouldn't say everybody, but mm-hmm. most. Oh, I can't even say most people. <clears throat> I would say people that want better for themselves at some point or another. <laughs> and when I say want better for themselves, I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna break this down. When I say they want better for themselves, when they look up and they're older, they'll be like, "Oh, dang, you know, I still got you know, close like family around me that." you know, isn't traumatized by my actions that I, you know, by the things that I did in my earlier years of life. I, I, I don't know. That's um, how I feel about it. I mean, eventually. Consistently. Relationship, let, us know, relationship cheating. let us know in the comments and in the chat, like, do y'all think that once a, once a cheater, always a cheater? If somebody cheats once, will they always cheat? Um... I, okay, I agree with you that people can grow and people can change. Yeah. However, I think that people who are, okay, there's a difference between a serial cheater and somebody who cheated. I agree. What I, yeah, so meaning, and I'll explain, so meaning, Sometimes you get into relationships with people and things happen. Whatever that thing is, I don't know. Maybe you feel like you're not getting what you need at home and it doesn't always have to be sex. There's a such thing as emotional cheating. To me, there is at least. And oh, so, yes, 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 yeah. Yes. And so, could you, uh, you, could you break down emotional, you know, emotional cheating for the people that may be watching? Um, so to, we, me, to, to me, emotional cheating means that I am seeking attention. Uh, I don't even want to say attention, but just counsel uh, from somebody who's not my partner, who's also not a friend that they know of. And it's something that can be flirty as well. So like I'm going to that person being, I'm opening up my heart to this, this other person that I'm not friends with, my person doesn't even know about. And if they saw or was around our conversations, it would be inappropriate, right? So anyway, so there's so a person who cheats, or who has cheated versus a serial cheater. People who are serial cheaters, I honestly feel like they have deeper issues. Like issues beyond a relationship. I I think that they are the type of people that need constant validation and they seek that through sex, I guess, or through other people, through attention. And versus them getting that help, they just cheat. And then they jump into the next person and they continue to cheat. So, yes, can somebody change? Of course they can, but they have to want to change. And people who are serial cheaters, I think, have a harder time doing that because it is a lot harder to take a long look at yourself. Yeah, and, and let, me, let me say a little something real quick. And we ain't <laughs> talking about the whole, oh, he cheated on me, but y'all had a conversation before all this even got together. I mean, before y'all even started doing whatever, and he was like, listen, I'm not no one-woman man. I'm out here, and I'm going to do me. And all of a sudden, yeah, he's doing whatever with you, and it seemed like you think that's what it is, but it really isn't. It can't be cheating then, but you got people that'll call it cheat. Just saying. (laughs) Uh, Alpha Body Construction says, I agree. Cheating is easier than changing to some people. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people cheating isn't a deal breaker. I mean, you also got them situations <laughs> where people know they, they if they cheat they can get away with it. Right. Meaning it's not and a when, deal breaker. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like they're cheating and they know that their the situation at the end will survive. Or at least in their mind they believe that. Do you think that you okay. So let's say you're in a long term relationship and that person cheats on you. Do you think that you would be able to work through that? Honestly. Hey, what they say? Chest get tight. Breathing get <laughs> breathing get hard get hard to breathe. <laughs> oh. oh what? No. 
Don't look at me. No, man, no. You don't That's think crazy. you can work through that? No. You know my head y'all, bad. Okay, so y'all been married for a decade. You don't think you can work through that? Station. <laughs> I, I I don't I, what, what, what am I speaking? Am I speaking in the tongue or something? No, I like. don't know. You <laughs> said it flat out no. Like why is why is it a flat out no for you? Nah, because I know I because I wouldn't do that to say a person ten years, ten years. Yeah. Like come on now, like come on now. Like I I even recently I want to say I can't remember the exact story or whatnot, but it was a fella. And he was telling his like story when somebody walked up to interview him and he was like, uh, he'd been married, you know, 40 and 50 some mm-hmm. years or whatever. And his wife told him about her cheating on him about 40 or 50 years ago. Mm-hmm. And he was mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. And he divorced her. That just went wild. I was like, yo. That's I would have kept that to myself because ain't no way. But Why you wait all this time? She told him, I guess her conscience will start eating at her. I don't know what it is. People do stuff for different reasons. But at the same time, it was just like, it's just like one of those things. How long would a person wait? Like, say, for instance, if you got that much skin in the game, say 30 or 40 years, you about to mm-hmm. divorce a person, Daisha? If they told me they cheated on me, like, years ago? 30 years ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago. No, no. I, I, okay. <laughs> that's a so long the time, time changes. And I know, I know, I know, I know. So, so time changes, right? Time changes things. What you what you you would say? Well, okay. Let me say this. Yeah. So I've been in a long term relationship before, where the person cheated on me, and I, at first, initially, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm done with you. I don't I don't want to do this with you anymore. Um, but time was invested. My 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 heart was in it, and so I was just like, well, let me see if I can try to make this work. I spent a, an additional year with this person trying to make it work. And one thing I've noticed about people who do the cheating, if you decide to stay with them, for some reason in their mind, they think that the slate is clean and it's almost as if the cheating never happened. So they can move in the same way that they moved when they cheated and, and you got life real effed up. If that's what you believe is going to help sustain a relationship, needless to say, we did not work out because, again, like we said earlier, I do think a relationship can survive cheating, not serial cheating, but a cheat. However, I think that that person has to be willing to take a good look at themselves because I would never blame the person who was cheated on as to why they why the cheating happened to begin with. I will say this. <laughs> uh, is that uh, here we go? Somebody's gonna move like they moving because they feel like they hold that power now. Like, oh, you forgive me after I did what I did. I hit word. I can do whatever. It's one of those things where people do stuff and they're like, okay, if I got away with it, then it's like, oh yeah, I, I really could possibly do this whenever I want. Because you got some folks that think like that. So you gotta be like, shoot, okay, cool. All I gotta do is just chill out and do it. No time soon. And they'll do it again. Right. But at some point, what you don't want to do, though, which a lot of people do, is you you forever burn a brick. Like, you you do someone so dirty to the point where they don't even respect you. And if they don't respect you, then they lose love for you. And by the time they're, like, truly over you and you go out to have fun and you think the grass is green and it turns out to be brown, then you want to circle back around, and at that point, it's it's too late. Can't spin the block. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> and look at Nick Cannon. Look at Nick Cannon. He told me he he'll do it to give him Mariah Carey, and she done with him. Yeah, Ten babies I, I, later, she she's done. Well, I, I yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He he might well just leave that alone at this point. He messed that job up real bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, did you have anything else to give Neil and and his uh, wife or cheaters or cheaters, Neil and his wife? Uh, I mean, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, don't do it. You're married. <laughs> don't get married if you're gonna want to indulge right. in other women. Uh, and if you want to indulge in other women, uh, separate from your wife. 
or have a conversation with your wife. Maybe she may allow you to do some things, but that's for you and your person to discuss. It's not public knowledge, but nowadays everybody put all their business out there and you'll know either way. It's just one of those things where people be like, oh yeah, move in silence. And then you put your whole little life story and dialogue of what you got planned for the next two weeks on social media. Be like, all right, word. <laughs> move in silence. <laughs> yeah, no. Um. <clears throat> so lastly, monkeypox. I'll be yeah. real honest with you. I have gone out of my way to not really look into monkeypox because I don't want to be paranoid. COVID really, COVID really a lot scared of me. Up. Yeah, COVID really scared me, and I feel like when that first hit the news, I everybody was consumed and inundated with information about it every single day, all the numbers, all the deaths. And so I think with monkeypox, it's just like, I'll read an article here or there, but I'm not really, uh, eh. only thing I, mean, I know monkey- is that it gives you pimples and all of that. Well, they were trying to uh, compare monkeypox to herpes. So essentially they said mm-hmm. that this monkeypox originated in the gay community or the L- LGBTQ community. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they were, that's why, that's why there was like articles coming out telling gay men to stop having sex. And I was extremely confused. I was like, well, what, what, what is going on? But apparently that court, apparently people were saying that correlates with, with that. And somehow monkeypox came from that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but monkeypox <laughs> isn't an STI, though. I have no, listen, I have no idea <clears throat> how all of that came to fruition and, and how the, people took that and ran with it. It was just like, start spreading like wildfires. And it was like, oh, yeah, now you can get monkey pop. Off of contact. Oh, you can do it like this, and you can do it like that. And the CC, I'm like, yo, what, what, what are we doing? Like, it's just another thing every time. It's like monkeypox hit, and then guess what else hit? Boom, we in a recession again. <laughs> like, well, a part of me wonders if they'll put us in quarantine, but I don't think that they will. All that money they lost last time. Oh man, they ain't shut nothing down. <laughs> made yeah, a, I don't, <laughs> made I the don't strongest think they survive. Will. We out here playing Hunger Games. That's what we're doing. <laughs> and I think because monkeypox hasn't... Has anyone died from it? No, nah, it's treatable. Okay, so I, I didn't think so. And I, and but you'd be out for reason, like... I think, but you be... But you, like... I, would, I wouldn't even want to compare it to this, to be completely honest, but... Like, you know when people used to get, like, the chicken pox and stuff like that? Yeah. So it's kind of something similar to that, but it's not. Because this... this Oh, man, this one here? I'm talking about joint be bubble... Oh, no. It's not a good sight, man. I mean, if, if, if for anybody that's looking, <laughs> make sure you me. wash your hands and after you open handles or go somewhere, make sure you, you clean, wash your hands. Just, oh, man, for real. It goes to show how vain we are as a society, though, because people made fun of COVID. I'm not wearing a mask, but the minute they see monkeypox is giving you pimples everywhere, they're like, oh, don't touch me. So, man, look, that's going to be bubbling. It's interesting. <laughs> it, it's interesting. Um, I think that is all, well, all of the bigger things going on in the news. The only positive thing, to be honest, that I've seen is Beyonce's album, okay? I played it today on my Sunday walk in nature, and it was wonderful. Very upbeat, very black joy, makes you want to dance, feel good, because there's a lot of craziness going on in the news and social media. Sometimes you just need a mental reset, I'm just saying. I'm being serious. Sometimes I'm you just need a mental reset. So my favorite song in there is "Plastic Off the Sofa." Um, wow. Wow. yeah, that's mm. probably my favorite one. And and uh, "Cuff It." This is beautiful. Beautiful. Now everybody out me? there, oh. Young Nudie <laughs> album drops tomorrow. Check it out. <laughs> Young Nudie is dropping tomorrow for that Rico music. If that's what you like, it drops tomorrow. <laughs> Check it out. And I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy it. Don't laugh. I'm serious, man. People, hey, listen now. It's putting people in jail. But hey, that beat hard, that music hard. Young Nudie dropped tomorrow. But it, on a lighter note, Raw Wave drop at the end of the week. But hey, <laughs> I'm just putting it out. Oh, there, Lil, man, Wayne the is, Lil Wayne got a new album coming out. He just said. Yeah, he did say it. Hopefully, you know, it's better than the last couple. But hey. <laughs> For real. Well, um, like we said at the top of the hour, I think, uh, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can go and binge watch our episodes on YouTube. You can also go do the audio version on Apple and Spotify. I have been Dave D. 
And I've been Jay Stan. And we will see you guys again at some point next week. Go on YouTube and watch them videos. I'm telling you, you will laugh. (laughs) Lots of laughs. All right. All right.